Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well. I wanted to release this message in support of Israel and the ongoing conflict happening in the Middle East and how it's demonstrated that this country, Israel, through which our Messiah came, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, is under attack and the hatred for my brethren, the Jew, my people in Israel is evident in the world today. And I want to share with you to let you know that because of Israel and because of Abraham being obedient in the beginning to God, the Israeli, the nation of Israel truly is a blessing to all the nations of the world. In Genesis 18, verse 18, God is speaking and he says, seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation and all nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Genesis 12, 3. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Genesis twenty-two eighteen, 18. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice. Genesis 26, 4. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven and will give unto thy seed all these countries and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. And then I want to share something out of Romans chapter 2, verse 29 to be exact. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart. In the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. Now, this is something that points to and demonstrates the connection of all believers to the nation of Israel through the work that Christ completed on the cross. The work that he began and which he completed on the cross. It joins us all together. He's broken down the middle wall, a partition that divided us, and he made us all one family. And we are to receive part of the inheritance because we are now brothers and sisters in Yeshua HaMashiach, the true Mashiach, the true Messiah and Savior of the world, Jesus Christ. Now, those who believe on Christ, doesn't matter what color you are, where you come from, what your background is, we are all joined together in him. And today, with the conflict and the things going on in the Middle East and Israel being under attack, your inaction and silence speaks of your position with the things that are going on. This is not a time of inaction. This is not a time of silence. But you should open your mouth wide and proclaim the support of Israel during these times. Now, Benjamin Netanyahu, I think it was maybe five or six days ago, he went to the U.N. to speak. And the only reason he went to the U.N. to speak is because of all the lies and slander that's being leveled against Israel. And we know who the enemies of Israel are. It is clear. Before he was coming up to the podium, the guy had his gavel and he's hitting the gavel. Order, order, order. Because soon as he said that Prime Minister, His Excellency, Prime Minister, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu was coming to the podium. People were clapping and cheering. But at the same time, there were delegates getting up and walking out. They didn't even want to hear what the man had to say. This is rude and disrespectful. And it is a clear demonstration of the anti-Semitism and the hate of the Jew. Now, they're already hated because they're the firstborn in the world. Never has God said, these people here are my people. And people hate that. They can't stand it because they want to be in their place. They want to be them. They want to have everything that they've been given as a blessing. But those that curse them, believe me, they will be cursed. Those that hate them, they will be hated. And those that hate them, I hate them with a cruel hatred. And I don't wish them anything but death. 
But those that pray for the peace of Jerusalem and Israel, I wish them life and peace. And they should receive life and peace because they have placed their trust in Jesus Christ. They do have peace and a promise of eternal life. And we will receive part of the inheritance with the Jew. Now, those of us who believe on Jesus, we're truly Jews inwardly. Okay. now, if I want to go a little bit further, I could claim the circumcision in the flesh. I have two circumcisions if you want to get technical about it. But the circumcision that matters the most is the circumcision of the heart. Now, my wife and I, we're fully supporters of the Israelis and what they're trying to do. And we love them. But just like I said, when Benjamin Netanyahu was speaking, there were many people that got up and they left. They didn't even want to hear what they had to say. And this is the position that Hamas has taken and that they won't release the hostages. Now, if they really want peace, they'll let the hostages go and they'll be open to talk things out. But instead, they would rather receive a beatdown at the hands of the IDF because they're asking for it. The Houthis are involved in this. They're criminals and crooks and terrorists. Hezbollah, they're crooks and terrorists, and they hate those who are part of the promise. And they hate us as well. If they hate Israel, they hate us. This is not a time to have inaction and silence, but this is a time to speak up and speak of the support that you have for our brothers and sisters in Israel and the trying times that they're going through. The Israelis have mentioned numerous times that they don't have a war with the Lebanese people. They don't have a war with the Palestinian people. They don't have a war with the people in Yemen. But yet you have the Houthis and Hezbollah that's getting involved in a fight that is not theirs. And it is clear that they support evil. But the way I see it and the way things that God has written in his word, evil will not win. Evil is not on top. Those who hate Israel, they will be destroyed. Those who love Israel will truly be blessed because we're all blessed through Abraham being obedient and we're blessed through the finished work of Jesus on the cross. Now, you know, a lot of times people are thinking, well, I don't want to put myself out there like that. But the time comes when you have to choose a side. You either for the Lord or you're against the Lord. It's like my wife and I, we realize that the root of the tree is the reason why we're able to place our trust in Jesus Christ. And the root of the tree is in Israel. It is the Jew. We've been grafted in. We have been blessed to receive part of the inheritance. And a lot of people don't realize that King David, the greatest king that ever lived, who was a warrior and he was a man after God's own heart. His great grandmother was a Gentile, Ruth. And just like Ruth said, my people are your people are my people. Whatever your people do, I will do. And where your people go, I will go. I feel the same way. The Jewish people, I'm connected to them. I've been grafted into the tree of life. I've been grafted into the tree that brings blessing. I've been grafted into the tree that has a future promise of eternal life. Now, my wife and I, we're in full support of the Israelis and everything that they're doing. Just like right here over our window, we have the star David with the dove over it. We want peace. The stars over the window, because this is where light comes in. Light is always good. We love the light. The light brings peace. It brings righteousness and it brings the truth. But many people follow lies. They're cheaters, they're crooks, they're terrorists. It's just like the delegates that got up and walked out of the UN when Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stepped to the podium. They're a bunch of bozos, they're clowns. And the guy who was officiating the UN meeting when he was banging his gavel, he should have told those delegates to return to their seats. It was disrespectful and rude of what they've done. But did that stop Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for bringing the message of why he came to the U.N. to speak? No, it did not. The man exudes confidence. He had so much confidence. I wish I had some of it. 
And he spoke the truth about the things that were going on. He shared some things out of the scripture. People hate them because they can open up the scripture and it speaks about them. And the one thing that's true today is God is still the God of Israel. Nothing has changed about that. The scriptures are clear that there is a God. The true God is the God of Israel. Now, let that sink in for a moment and just think about that. Think about where your roots are and what you believe. Think about where your roots are and what you've placed your trust in. You either trust and believe in the truth or you're receiving and believing a lie. Those who have received the Lord Jesus Christ and know that he is their savior, they do what is necessary to keep his commandments. They follow after him and not another. They hear his voice and they trust in him. These are the people that are truly blessed. Evil can't win in the world. And really the things that's going on in Israel now is a war between good and evil. Good will triumph. It's not good and bad. It's good and evil. Evil will be crushed in the end. And it's just like these people that are being involved in a war that has nothing to do with them. They'll be crushed and destroyed too because they can't stand under the IDF and what Israel is doing right now. And just like Benjamin Netanyahu said, they're going to continue their campaign until these people have been removed like a cancerous mole off of someone's skin, like a cancerous mole off of someone's back. These are the things that we're faced with and they won't stop until they're completely destroyed and they must root them out. Now, you see a whole bunch of things going on in the world today. The, the people here in America, there's so much corruption around. You don't know who to place trust in. You can't place any kind of trust in them. You have mayors like this mayor in Illinois. She's being evicted from her house. She can't even pay her house, although she's making three hundred thousand dollars a year. She's spending the money for the city, for herself, on personal things. You have the dude in New York that's been delivered up now on bribery charges. Because he's been taking gifts and going on lavish vacations while people are starving and trusting that he's going to take care of them. There was another dude that the feds came for. He barricaded himself in his in his house and then he took his own life because he didn't want to go to jail. And they was they was going to arrest him on bribery charges. But the thing is, is what we need to do as believers is we need to seek the truth. We need to know the truth and we need to believe in the truth. There's so many mixed things going around today. People don't know what to believe. But the truth of the matter is, when you keep your eye on Israel, you really see the temperature of the world. When you lay your hand upon Israel, you can feel the pulse of the world. The world hates its God and it hates Israel, the country through whom our Savior came. Yeshua HaMashiach. Now, just let those things sink in for a minute. And. Just don't believe what I say. Be the Berean. Look in the scriptures yourself and see if these things what I'm telling you are true. The Gentile, the Goyim, have been grafted in to the tree of Israel. The root of the tree is where we all are truly blessed. Now, I hope you received this message as a positive message. And that you're encouraged to demonstrate your support of the Israelis and even the campaign that they're putting forth now. They're trying to keep their country secure and they want peace in the region. They really do. Benjamin Netanyahu, he demonstrated all this at the U.N. when he was speaking. But those bozos who got up and walked out are just like the terrorists. You cannot speak to them. You cannot reason with them. You cannot do anything with them. Trying to deal with them is almost like trying to make a deal with the devil. And therefore, they should be destroyed. But the shame and the bad thing, the most horrible, horrific thing about all this that's going on are the innocent people that have nothing to do with the war, the ones that want peace, the children, the elderly. And then the terrorists are so shameful that they hide amongst the people who want peace. They hide in their residential buildings. They hide in their basements. And Israel, Israel, the Israelis, 
They must do what is necessary to secure their country and make sure there is peace for their people. We should care about that as well because Jesus Christ has came and he's brought us peace. Therefore, we should support them because our Messiah, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach is the Jewish Messiah. Jesus never stopped being a Jew. He still is a Jew. When he comes back to the earth, he will be a Jew. He is the king of Jews. He is my king, my savior, my Lord. And I love him and I love his people who are my people. And where his people go, I will go. And what his people do, I will do. Thank you for your time. I hope this message truly is a blessing to you today.